So the next one we want to know is the profit contribution due to promotion. Now, why do we need to calculate this? Now, sometimes you might think about, all right, you're spending a lot of money, you are getting the traction, you're getting the market share, but whether you are profitable. If you remember the example back then that when I explained market share in week three, if you remember it. Now, in week three, as uh, as we talk about it, there are uh, Huawei, Apple, and Samsung. They are all competing in all this smartphone market. Now, Huawei are getting a lot of traction. Huawei are getting a lot of market share these days because they throw in a lot of promotional tools. They throw in a lot of advertising. They're throwing a lot of um, discount and so on. Now, the next question is whether they are actually profitable from that promotion. Okay, so they also have to check whether by lowering their price, do you think that they are going to make profit? Now, so this is going to be, how are we going to do is that the profit contribution is basically the contribution from the incremental sales minus the contribution foregone from the baseline sales. So when you do promotion, you are increasing your quantity, but you are decreasing price. So the increasing quantity is that contribution to the incremental sales. Okay, so it's result in increase in sales during the promotional period. And maybe if there is any increase after the promotion, so post promotion period is after the promotion. But you have to remember that you actually decreasing price. And that will be the contribution for gone because because you are actually decreasing the price. So so it become reduced contribution, okay? And also any sales shortfall after promotion. So we'll talk about this more as we go along with our case. Okay, let's take a look at this case number one. So as you know, the case number one, we know that the promotion or the pre-promotion period is 6%. And during the promotion period, it jumps to 10%. And as we know, the category sales are constant, so we just keep it constant right here. And the brand sales is going to be 60,000 as we calculated before. And the brand sales for this will be 100,000 because 10% out of 1 million, that's 100,000 as we calculated before as well. Now, here are some of the new information that we should watch out. First one is that the variable cost per unit is 50 bucks. Now, obviously, when we talk about cost, it's going to be the same regardless promotion or pre-promotion. That's fine. And lastly, we're going to talk about the selling price, which is 150. And during the promotional period, as we know, we are going to decrease that to $120. Okay, so the first question is that how are we going to do this? Okay, now in simple explanation, okay, so this is just saying that whether promotion actually works. Now we're going to redraw that diagram. So you got the 6% and you got also the 10%. Now this is the pre-promo and this is during the promo. And as we know, this is going to be my baseline sales. and that's going to be the extra or the lift okay now from the previous information as well we also know that the variable cost is going to be 50 bucks let's call it per unit and also the selling price that's going to be equals to 150 bucks per unit when there is no promo and 120 bucks if there is a promo. Now in this case, I'm gonna divide this into two. Now the first one, if 
what happens if there is a promo? Promo. Okay. And in the second case, we're going to look at what happens if there is no promotion. Okay. Now, in promo, so my profit is going to be during the pre promo, 6% out of million, that's going to be 60,000. Right. So this is going to be 60,000 times 150. Okay. But we have to minus the cost because that's the cost of making that good. So which is 50 plus the second part. So this is during the pre promotion. And during the promotion, it's going to be a hundred thousand. That's what we got from before times 120 minus 50. Okay. Why is it 120 minus 50? Well, 120 is the selling price when there is a promotion. So this part is during promotion. And then the 50 bucks is actually the cost associated into it. So if you calculated this correctly, you should be able to get, so that's going to be 13 million. Okay, now if there is no promo, means that you will have, so the first one, it will be my baseline sales. Plus, now the second part, because there is no promo, it will be the same thing as our baseline price. So that's going to be repeated. So if you calculate this correctly, so that will be 12 million. So because of that, as you can see, that the promotion are having an effect of a net plus 1 million. All right? Because during the pre-promotion and promotion, you earn 13 million. And say that if there is no promotion at all, we assume that the sales are going to be constant. So that's going to be 60,000 in 150 minus 50 that during the pre-promotion. But since that there is also no promotion in here, we assume that it's going to be also $60,000 and selling at $150. So because of that, it come out to be 12 million. And in this case, you have a net gain of $1 million. So that's how you actually do it in a simple arithmetic term. Now, the second part of it is we are going to do a proper one. So how are we going to do this? Okay. Now, first of all, you, you can break this down into what we call the contribution per unit. Okay. So my contribution per unit is as simply as basically the cost, whatever the selling price minus the cost. So I'll just write selling price minus the variable cost. So that's going to be $150 minus 50 bucks. So that's going to be $100. Whereas this one, it will be 120 minus 50 bucks. So that will be $70. Now my baseline sales, as we talked about it, is going to be $60,000 because that's what the pre-promotion period where we haven't actually promoted our products. Okay, so that's going to be 60,000. Okay, now my incremental sales, that's going to be 100,000 minus 40,000. Minus 60,000, that will give me 40,000. Now the contribution from the incremental sales, okay? So what's the contribution from the incremental sales? So we know that the contribution from the incremental sales is $40,000, but the incremental sales, it will be by 70. So 
40,000 dollars times 70 bucks so that is going to be 2.8 million contribution for gone from the baseline sales so that will be so that will be 60,000 times 70 minus 100 okay so the reason why is it sixty thousand dollars times seventy minus hundred is because of seventy is now our current pro contribution during the promotion, whereas hundred is actually our contribution during the pre-promotional period. So you have to minus the, them off so so that you can actually get the net sort of benefit or net loss. So in this case, so in this case our net loss is actually thirty bucks because during promotional period we are actually hurt because we passed on the benefit to the consumers. Now, because of that, this has a negative 1.8. So the net contribution per unit is, as we know from the previous formula, is just the contribution from the incremental minus the contribution foregone. So that will be 2.8 million minus 1.8. 1.8 million that also give me 1 million which is the same as what we did in here